Retro Game Revisited. That's what I'm going to call a new series of videos where I talk about revisiting a game that I played years and years ago and kind of and kind of thinking about how the gaming industry has changed or how my uh, how my outlook upon the game has changed or just like general impressions on how the game holds up or how the game doesn't hold up. Should be fun. Today's video game is Mickey's Circus Mystery. I don't think I ever talked about this on any other video, but Mickey's Cir Circus Mystery was the sequel to Mickey's Magical Quest, which is a very good platforming game by Capcom for the Super NES. Mickey's Circus Mystery is interesting that it is two-player co-op, which was not necessarily a common thing in the Super NES. And in fact, when I was like busting out video games to play with, with the camera woman, um, it was one of the only things we could play with at the same time. So we played it. Um, it was and remains an easy game. It definitely is. The different costumes are kind of fun, but it's not it's not a difficult game. I don't think it's as hard as Mickey's Magical Quest. It it's it's not as good of a game. Like objectively it's not. It's not. It's just not. It's not as difficult. It's not the art style is probably not not as uh beautiful looking as Mickey's Magical Quest, which is which is almost an art a work of art when it comes to when it comes to game art and that sort of thing. But at the time and this is this is the example I use when I talk about uh, cost of games in general. I think I paid seventy five dollars in ninety three or four to get this game for the Super NES. Seventy five dollars is a lot of money for a video game now. Can you imagine paying that twenty years ago? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do the inflation counter and figure out what it is in the doobly-doo, but that's a lot of money. Like, we're kind of lucky today when it comes to the video game price ceiling pretty much being locked in at $60. Because 75 for this game was yeah, maybe $25 to $35 too much. Now, when it comes to, the, when it comes to how well it's hold, held up, a lot of Capcom platformers, the two-dimensional art style still looks great. Like Super Mario World still looks great. There's not much else to say on, on it on it when it comes to like its graphics and technology. Gameplay wise, I mean it wasn't good then. It's the only reason to play it is is for the co-op and, and for bouncing on dudes' heads as an effeminate mouse. <laughs> 